Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. And if it's your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Today I'm going to be reviewing, demoing, trying, testing. You already saw the title. You know I'm going to be testing some products from Milk Makeup today. I am kind of sort of familiar with Milk Makeup. I've been using their cream bronzer for a long time now. My only gripe really with Milk is that they're a little bit on the pricier end. It's kind of a weird brand price wise for me I feel like some products are like insanely priced like my cream bronzer was $40 and I think that's like uh, asking a little much but on the other hand that's gonna last me forever because you get so much product but then they also have lip balms for like $16 so you know what it's it's a weird range price wise but as far as innovation I feel like they come out with some really cool stuff and the branding is really beautiful a lot of makeup artists who I really love and respect use a lot of products from milk makeup Nazareth looks. I hope I said her name right. If you guys haven't seen her on Instagram, she is insanely talented. She does these face charts so you can try to recreate the looks yourself. And I know that she is a part of the Milk Studio fam. I'm not totally clear on what that means, but I know it means that she has some sort of affiliation with them. Snitchery does as well. You guys know Snitchery. She does the world's coolest cosplay. She does all these different characters. And she did something really cool with Milk. All of the proceeds from her discount code with Milk, all of the revenue she got from there she would donate to Black Lives Matter organizations. Milk said that they would match whatever she made from her code. I think that's over now but I thought that was really cool of them and they were probably one of the first brands I saw stand up and say something about Black Lives Matter and stand up and say something after George Floyd was murdered by police officers and they were also one of the first brands to pull up if you were unfamiliar with Sharon Shooter, CEO of Uma Beauty. She created a movement called the Pull Up for Change movement where she called on companies to release their diversity reports of their companies and show the consumer what their team looks like, specifically in management and executive roles. And what happened was a lot of these companies came out and basically had to say, we don't have any black people working here, or they had a very low percentage of black people working at their companies. Milk was one of the first companies to pull up. Even though it's not great, they immediately put out a plan for change and immediately vowed to hire more people. So we will be watching Milk, we will be watching to see if they actually do hire more black people like they said they would. They support a ton of artists who I know and love, so I like that a lot. So I figured it was time that I gave the line a little bit more of a chance. So today I'm going to be reviewing their Flex Stick Foundation, and then I'm also gonna be trying a holographic highlighter stick, as well as their Kush Lip Balm. It's a special edition Kush Lip Balm for Pride Month. I should probably just get into the video, so if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, then and I hope that you will please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. So I literally just got my package like 30 minutes ago. So I am fresh and excited to review this stuff for you. Look how cute. They gave me this little reusable bag that everything came in, which I thought was really cool. I really liked that they sent me these samples of their Flex Foundation Stick with my order and they, they gave six shades. And I thought that's pretty good for a sample, you know, because if you're just looking for formula, not color, then you can kind of mix these together to create your own color. So I'm hoping this is gonna work out. I'm probably gonna go towards the, the lightest shade here. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna rub my finger on it. So creamy. Wow, okay, is that a perfect shade for me or what? Wow, okay, this is the shade Fair. You guys, do I have cool undertones? Am I just realizing right now that I have cool undertones? I always thought I had neutral undertones, but this says it's cool. Oh, it has a bit of a smell to it. Mm, it smells kind of lavendery. I don't like my face products to be scented at all. I'm gonna look up the ingredients and insert them here, but my my mind is telling me that there's like lavender or eucalyptus or something in here. Hopefully I don't break out. I'll be sure to update down below to let you know if I break out from this. Okay, I feel like I put a good amount on, so I'm gonna go in with my Color Drain Beauty Sponge and see if this blends out. Normally with a stick foundation, I would go in with more of a flat top brush, but to be honest, I just don't have a clean one of those right now, so we'll see how the beauty blender works. Oh wow, this is like high coverage, wow. Okay, maybe not high coverage, high coverage for me. I'm normally like a light to sheer coverage type of gal, but this is actually very good, wow. Okay, considering that this is a stick foundation, it blended out so well with the beauty sponge. It was so creamy. It feels like I just put moisturizer on, like I feel like I just put something really, really creamy on my face. It is tacky. 
We'll see if it sets down. I might have put too much on, but I don't think I did because it's like I have good coverage, but I don't think I look cakey at all. Okay, I have to be completely honest with you. I don't know if I've ever been so blown away by the finish of a foundation before. Sorry to be dramatic, but I just looked up close and it's like undetectable. Not cakey at all. Super natural looking. Super skin like my skin, but better. My only fear is that it's not going to set down all the way, but I suppose only time will tell. Since I don't have any concealer or powder from Milk Makeup. I'm gonna throw those on real quick, then we'll come back and do the rest of my face. I should have stated before that the only place I powder is to set my concealer under my under eyes and just in the center of my face right next to my nose, so I did not set the foundation. I never set my foundation. My skin is way too dry from that, and if a foundation does not set on its own, it is not the foundation for me. I'm just not interested in wearing powder all over my face. It does feel like it dried down a little bit. It's still a little tacky, but I only had it on for like five minutes so let's move on to bronzer as I mentioned earlier I do have the milk matte bronzer stick I did buy this back in October and I am a big fan so far I figured I would feature it in the video it's a milk video it makes sense to use milk products right and I really like this because I feel like it's a very good tone and if you've heard me talk about bronzer on my channel before my main issue with bronzers is that they pull very orange on me a lot of bronzers no matter how how light the shade is just tend to always pull orange on me and I know that's the idea behind a bronzer like I'm not I'm not dumb you guys I know the bronzers are supposed to add warmth when I use a warm tone bronzer it adds orange not warmth it doesn't look sun-kissed it looks very weird but this tone like are you seeing this is beautiful. I've also never applied bronzer with a beauty sponge until today and I'm feeling very silly for not doing that because I feel like that was effortless. Wow. Thank you to Milk and thank you to my Colored Rain Beauty Sponge. They do have two shades. I have the lighter of the two shades. Should they have more than two shades? Absolutely, positively. Why don't you have more than two shades? Two shades of bronzer is not enough shades of bronzer. Milk, I think you need to come out with at least like five more. This is a great bronzer and I want everybody to be able to enjoy how great this bronzer is. So you should absolutely make more shades. All right. I just threw on a little cream blush real quick and now I'm ready for my holographic highlight lighter stick. I don't understand why they send things in excessive packaging for a company that seems like they're very focused on sustainability. It's a little confusing to me why you would put a plastic product in a plastic tube and then put it in a reusable bag and then put it in a box. Seems like too much for me. But regardless, I'm excited to try this. This is the Holographic Highlighter Stick. It's in the shade Mars. This was their lightest shade, I guess closest to the champagne color. They also had a pinky one and like a blue one. Very cool, very interesting. Holographic was a big trend, I feel like, last year. Not as much this year. I have been duped by holographic highlighters before. The Maybelline Master Holographic Highlighter was one of the worst I've ever used. It was super chunky. It looked terrible on the skin, drew attention to my texture. But I'm hopeful that because this is in a cream format, that it's going to perform a little better. I'm hopeful. I do not know. I'm just over here making wild assumptions. I don't know any more than you do. I think the best way to apply this, or at least the safest way to apply this, is going to be to put some on the back of my hand. This smells just like their body oil does which I like. It's a very orangey smell. Will it make me break out? Only time will tell. All right, so I put a good amount of the highlighter on the back of my hand here. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna try to apply it with a beauty blender. Did anything happen? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that did anything. Maybe the beauty blender is not the best way to apply this. I'm gonna go in with my finger. Maybe that'll build up the pigmentation a little more. It's very oily feeling. You would be shocked by the way that this feels based on what it looks like. I don't know, I thought it would be like a little thicker very thin. Okay, yeah, I think finger is the way to apply this. It definitely made it look a little more shiny. Honestly, this is kind of my type of highlight. Lately, I've been straying away from the more, like, strobing, metallic-y highlights, and I've been a much bigger fan of, like, dewy, wet yoga skin, as they call it. Like, you're supposed to look like you're just, like, a little sweaty, but on all the right places. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I was very suspicious of this at first. I thought it was just, like, a do-nothing highlight, but I think the key just to apply it with your fingers. I'm blown away. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. This looks really, really, really good. Would I call it holographic? No. In, in certain lights, it definitely looks more pink than in others. Like, I feel like it has like a pinky shift, but I wouldn't call it holographic at all. If you were looking for a super dewy highlight, wow. 
dewy, oily, fresh, glowy, perfect for summer, perfect for all the time. This is the highlight. We gotta move on because I feel like I could talk about this highlight for the rest of the day. Wow, this video has been an emotional roller coaster. Everything has been really, really good so far, and I'm hoping we're gonna end on a high note. So, the last product I have to try is the Milk Kush Lip Balm Special Edition color for Pride Month. 100% of the proceeds from this product do go to the Center NYC, which is the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center in New York City, so a great cause to support. I don't know how long it's limited edition for. I hope that you can still get it, if it's good, of course, but also, if it's if it's not good, just donate to the Center separately. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. I know the Kush Lip Balm is like a cult favorite for a lot of people. Jay Kissa really loves the Kush Lip Balm, and I really love Jay Kissa, so it's a nice, hefty packaging. I've noticed with milk so far, the packaging for everything is like a one like stunning packaging it feels like high quality I know they said they're a bit of a pricier brand but at least the packaging components match the price point so let's try on this lip balm I'm hoping that I'm gonna be blown away oh my God. this is beautiful wow the colors in here it's so so sparkly oh okay I gotta shut up I gotta shut up and just put it on Ooh. Look, at, I, it said that it would have like pinky gold reflex in it and they posted really glamorous pictures on their Instagram, but I like didn't believe that it would be as good in person. You know how they always like do the perfect lighting and they do that filter and they film it at golden hour and I feel like it exaggerates the result and it is very much not golden hour right now. Like it is an overcast day in New York City at like four in the afternoon. But despite it not being golden hour and not being sunny outside, I am blown away by what this looks like. Wow, it's super sparkly. Like this is a sparkly lip balm. If you don't like sparkles in your lip balm, you you won't get it. You're not gonna understand how great this is if you don't like sparkles in your lip balm, and that's your prerogative, but I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. How could you not want sparkles in your lip balm? This is so beautiful. Wow. This has been a wildly successful try-on video of new products from Milk Makeup. Well, not new products, new to me. The lip balm is new, everything else is not really all that new, but you know what? I had a really good time today, and I think that is what's the most important thing about makeup, is as long as it makes you feel good and it makes you have a good time, that's that's good product for you, man. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they are always really goofy like this one. Also, let me know if you have tried anything from Milk Makeup before. What should I buy next? Is there anything I'm missing out on? Are there any products you need to warn me about? Let me know all your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. And also please click all of the links in the description box for Black Lives Matter resources, organizations to donate to, petitions to sign, resources for further educating yourself, and ways to help protesters. So I definitely encourage you to click all of those links down below and to continue participating in the Black Lives Matter movement, showing up in any way you can, and just trying to be the best ally that you can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!